Answer, what's going on with you? Cancerian Massive, it's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your weekly reading. This is going to be from Sunday, January 26th to Saturday, February 1st. Damn, Cancer, check it out. It's already February. We're going to blink and it's going to be February. That's insane. All right, well, let me see what I got for you and what's going on with you because I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, Aquarius season. Um, as a matter of fact, the 26th is the new moon in Aquarius. So um, if you're into, um, you know, moon rituals, new moon rituals, this would be a good time these next three days for you to put your intentions in the air. Um, what would even help to boost the potency of that is to use the um, the new moon, the sign, use the characteristics of the sign of the new moon. So uh, Aquarius is all about, you know, networking, connecting, social groups, organizations. It's all about your friends, your social life, things like that. So if there's something that you would like to change, like, for example, if you would like to have more like-minded friends or like-minded connections, you can put that intention out there and that will help to boost the potency of it. You know, you got to use the um, energies based on what you're in in order to, you know, manifest the things you want. But just wanted to throw that out there just in case. All right. So Leo, um, why I say Leo, are some of you dealing with a Leo? Does somebody have Leo in their chart? All right. Um, but listen, <laughs> cancer, let's see what's going on with you. Um, I do want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Oh, one more thing. The um, Patreon uh, membership link is below. Um, I do want to tell you about that because there is a drawing going on on the 31st of January. I'm going to draw six lucky winners for a free reading. So if you want to participate in that, you have to be a Patreon member. And the link is below. All right. Cancer, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Let's see what we got for you. Oh! <laughs> yes! That's beautiful energy, okay? Who would not be happy to see the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Starting off the overall energy. So hopefully things will continue. Hopefully this is not about costing you anything, but about making you some dough, all right? Some of you could be moving, okay, to a new place. You could have money to do anything, okay? Um, this could just, it's just basically a card saying that your financial situation is going to increase, okay? For the, it's, it's hopefully it's going to be for the better, but um, it's in the upright, so uh, <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. Um, this could also represent a connection as far as a relationship. Uh, sometimes the Ace of Pentacles can represent an engagement, okay? But we're going to see what's going on. What is the challenge for this beautiful energy coming in? What What is challenging this energy? We have the Ace of Wands. So you making money... The challenge in that, or you bringing in money, wow, an ace for an ace, okay? So with the ace of wands here, um, maybe you, um, your, your current situation is you want to make some money, but the challenge is, is that you, you can't find anything that you're inspired about. You, you're not finding anything that jumps at you that you're passionate about. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> yeah, so this could be in reference to working because keep in mind, we are all being affected by the planetary energies of uh, Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter being in the 10th house. The 10th house is all about career aspirations, professional achievements, um, professional growth, your reputation within um, your work environment, as well as outside of it, you know, um, also has to do with your moral ethics, what's valuable to you, what's important to you. Um, and those energies are being, um, really honed in on with the energies from Saturn, Pluto, um, and, uh, Jupiter. So you, you know, you're not the only one who's being affected in reference to, um, decisions in the workplace, decisions about your career, how you make money, you know, your reputation, <clears throat> what you're known as. Okay. So that could be what's going on with you, but let's see what the universe Want you to keep an eye on here and what you want you to keep in mind with this situation. So we have the five of swords reversed. <laughs> I'm immediately getting don't be petty. Don't be petty. <laughs> 
The five of swords reverse represents you realizing um, that you're in a situation that is not beneficial to you. This is what the universe wants you to keep in mind. You may be experiencing, you know, bouts of not being inspired and not being inspired. This can sort of be being nitpicky too. Depends, but the universe is saying, okay, just in case you get a little bit on that edge where you're being nitpicky, you really need to keep in mind the situation at hand. This is not a good situation for you. You need money, okay? This is why it's on your mind. So you don't want to put yourself in situations or look at things from a perspective that's not going to benefit you, all right? That's what I'm getting strongly here. So um, don't be don't be so particular, so petty and put yourself in a position where you're not benefiting yourself. You want to keep that energy away. So you don't want to jump. And also, you don't want to jump from the fire pan into the, the frying pan into the fire either is what I'm getting with this five of swords reverse. Again, this is the universe's um, recommendation to you. So let's see where your head is at. I have the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay. So you, for whatever reason, maybe you're not seeing things clearly. Maybe you're not seeing any clear opportunities. Um, something that, you know, makes sense to you. Hmm. Could also be that you may just be in a position where you are, um, hmm. You could just be being rigid, okay, with the situation here. Maybe you need to, I know, it's like, if, maybe you're just on some, look, if it's, if it's not something I'm passionate about, I don't want it. But it looks like you're not using logic here with the Queen of Swords reverse. For some of you, you're not looking at things from a practical, logical, a more logical standpoint. It's all about emotion for you. It's all about what you, your, you know, your passions. And that's okay, but if you're really in a super drought for money, then maybe you take something temporary until you can, you know, find something that you are passionate about. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, some of you are just not seeing something. You might be looking at things a bit unrealistically. Not everybody, you know, just you could be looking at things unrealistically. You could be looking at things from a point of view where you're not, you don't have all the facts. Um, you're not able to make a, um, a logical decision. Let's take a look at what the outcome is here. So I have the Eight of Swords reversed. So you do get clarity on the situation with the Eight of Swords reversed. Um, you are, you know, if you feel like you're in a financial prison, you know, some of you may have had a bill that you had to pay on for a, a very long time and you finally got it paid off. This could be the energy that you're feeling as well. And so now you have a lot more money to do the things that you want to do. Okay, and so now you're trying to find out what it is that you're passionate about. And this could just be a reminder um, from the universe saying, hey, you know, be careful of what you jump into so that you don't get yourself in a situation again. Okay, and then with this Queen of Swords energy, you may not really have understood how it happened or it, it just doesn't make logical sense to you. Okay, but the outcome is, is that, you know, you get clarity on that and you're able to get things cleared up. Beautiful energy with that at the end. All right, but we got the um, Five of Cups in reverse as the overall energy here. So with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is moving on, you know, um, recovery. So this could be financial recovery, okay? Um, for some of you, this could be recovering as far as um, addiction, okay? Um, some of you, um, yeah, I'm getting that too, Okay. So maybe you guys, um, well, let's see. Let's clarify and see. I don't want to come up with anything <clears throat> without some specifics now that we can clarify here. So let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What is this about? Is this about money coming in? Is this about establishing a uh, relationship? What is this Ace of Pentacles about? Because this is the current situation. 
Um, some people could, hmm, yeah, with this five of cups, I just want to also say with the five of cups in reverse here and this ace of pentacles, somebody, this could be um, a relationship. There's no, um, <laughs> there's really no wands here, but this could be somebody who, you know, has air in their chart and they just, you know, could be looking at it from that point of perspective. Let's see. So we have the nine of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. So we have a lot of pentacle energy. So the nine of pentacles represents someone who is single, not married. Okay. Um, who is comfortable financially able to um, take care of the things that they need, provide for themselves. Um, and they're protecting their assets with the uh, four of pentacles here. Okay. So maybe you're considering how you can protect your money. We have the um, Ten of Swords reverse, and we have the Devil reverse. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords reverse here, I'm getting that someone um, may have been betrayed by someone, and it had to do with money. All right, and then we have the Devil reverse energy here, where you know, um, I don't know if this is fear. The devil reversed. Someone it could have been a it could have been an illegal business dealing. Somebody who backstabbed you and betrayed you. Maybe you were trying to make some money, and um, you you yeah, someone betrayed you financially. So I have the Knight of Swords reversed. They didn't real reveal all the information to you. Told you what they wanted to tell you, and the Knight of Swords, and you just went ahead and jumped in. So you may have lost some money in this situation here. Yeah, it could have been that there was someone else involved in the situation with making money and you found out that this person was betraying you, so you ended the connection with them. Could have been a business deal that went bad for some of you. Let's take a look at the Ace of um, Wands here because this is um, the challenge, okay? Maybe you're looking for somebody new to connect with to make a business deal or you need someone else. Um, this is something that you have to do. You can't do by yourself. It could be because you don't have the money. So we have the Ace of Swords reverse. Okay. And then we have the Five of Cups reverse. So, um, yeah, this could have been someone not being honest, not being truthful. Um, this could represent not, not having clarity on what you're passionate about. Okay. Not being able to see what it is that you really, really want. You, you're you ready to move on, but you're just not sure what it is that you want to move on to or with, okay? This could be in reference to a position, okay, as well. Um, some of you may have feel, felt that this job, you know, they took advantage of you, okay? Um, and some of you may have just quit. Some of you um, may have gotten fired, and that's where the betrayal may come in, or we're, we're getting the Ten of Swords reversed with the Devil reversed. Uh, but you definitely are looking for something new, but you're not sure, you know, what it is that you can make money from or what you can get into. For others of you, I have the Knave of Cups, which is the Page of Cups reverse, and I have the Seven of Cups. So, yeah, you're definitely trying to figure out what it is that you want to do, looking at your different options. Um, you know, for some of you, this is, um, you know, you're not interested in a love situation OK, if this is just a relationship type of thing going on here, um, some of you could have left someone and, you know. This person could have been about money, OK, and you found out that they were about money and so you ended things with them um, and. You know, you're not interested in love right now, but you're just looking at your options, you know, maybe you want to meet someone new, so you're just trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, you could be just maybe not even want to deal with love right now with the, the name of, of Cups Reverse. So you're just figuring out what other things you want to focus on. So I have the Knight of Wands reversed. And I have the Ace of Wands reversed. So um, rejection here I'm getting. Um, yeah, someone just wants to be intimate and maybe they've been rejected. Okay. Or someone is not, they're rejecting offers of love. They're just wanting to have sex and that's it with the Ace of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands. Like, yeah, 
this is someone who, or maybe, you know, one minute you're passionate about something and then the next minute you're not, is what I'm getting. Also, if this is a, a work situation, like you don't know what it is that you really, truly um, want to do to make money. And that's what you're trying to figure out. So that's for some of you. Got a couple different messages here. Interesting. So let's take a look at this Five of Swords reverse. This is what the universe wants you to keep in mind during this situation. So we have the Tower reversed. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Now, the Tower Reverse, this is, um, you know, so this is after aftermath, okay? This is the sudden change that already came. So for some of you, you ended a relationship or in, someone ended a relationship with you. For some of you, you quit a job or you were fired or, you know, you were demoted, With the tower reverse and the eight, yeah, some of you, um, hmm, definitely a sudden change to your employment situation here. Um, some of you, this may have already happened where you got fired or you ended up, there was some type of situation that occurred and it wasn't in your best interest. But with this in reverse, I'm showing that you getting out of this environment is in your best interest because you're not meant to be here. I have the Sun card here, Leo energy, and the um, Six of Swords reverse. Yes, yeah, some of you, um, you know, you want to leave, but you're kind of stuck. Or, you know, you realize that moving on is the best thing for you. But for some of you, you're not able to move on yet. But you know, once, you, once you're able to move on, you'll be fine. And you do see that here. Now, for others of you, I have the Four of Cups reverse. And I have the Seven of Wands. So um, for some of you, you just have a whole new outlook on things. Okay. You know, you're like, you know what? This didn't work out. That's fine. Whether it was a job or a relationship. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to trip about this. You know, um, there's some of you have other um, suitors. You have other people interested in you. It's like, I'm not going to make a fool out of myself for this person. I'm not going to worry about this anymore. Um, there's other people pursuing me. Um, for some of you, there could be other um, jobs that you've applied to or other people. Maybe you're getting calls already. All right, so let's take a look at this Queen of Swords in reverse because that's where your head is at. Are you in denial about something? Are you just not seeing the truth in things? Um, is someone holding facts from you? We have the Nine of Swords reverse. So this could be, for some of you, this is you just being in denial about things, but you may finally... Or you're not speaking, okay? Also, not speaking and not communicating what's going on. We have the death card in reverse. Scorpio energy. So some of you, yeah, you, you were in denial about the facts of what was going on, okay? Or you weren't. Yeah, you were definitely in denial. That's for some of you. We have the nine, was this the nine or eight? The eight of wands, okay, messages. And then we have the two of wands, someone trying to decide what to do. So these messages could be, um, you know, you talk, your higher self, letting you know some things. Or for some of you who are looking for a job, um, you could be getting some messages and you're just deciding on which option you want to go. Some of you are looking maybe to relocate with the eight of wands energy um, you know, maybe you don't see that there's any with the eight with the queen of wands or swords in reverse. Maybe in the area which you're in, you don't see any potential for for jobs and you're considering relocating for some of you. All right. What's that? Let's see what else there is. Then we have the six of wands. And we have the eight of cups. So some of you, you know, um. You have a lot of suitors. Again, you have people who are interested in you. Okay, so you're okay with walking away with this relationship. You didn't want to walk away, though, from what I'm showing. Um, but, you know, with the five of cups as the overall energy, you're just going to move on. You're just going to move on. So, different messages. Okay, so let's see the outcome with the eight of swords reversed. Okay, so this is maybe getting clarity, someone getting released from prison, perhaps. Someone, um, let's see, what else? A mental prison, okay? It, it being in your head about the situation. 
someone getting clarity. So we have the Queen of Wands reverse. And we have the Chariot reverse. So for some of you, you're not, you know, you got clarity on a situation and you realize that For some of you, I'm getting two kind of messages here. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, some of you realize that this is somebody who um, you're looking at this person as if, or the person that, if this is a person you were dealing with, you're looking at them as someone who's not emotionally stable. You're looking at them where, okay, well, this was just good sex, but we're not going to move forward with the chariot in reverse. So you're like, okay, well, you know, the situation is over. That's fine. It was nothing more than sex. Anyway, that's for some of you. You didn't see any real potential in this anyway. For a lot of you. And then we have the Ten of, uh, one, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles reverse. And we have the Hangman reverse. So for some of you, um, with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, um, there's an issue financially, again, you know, maybe you realize that this person was trying to get money from you, okay, and you didn't see it coming. For some of you, you just didn't see it. And then you finally got clarity on the situation. So some of you, like I said earlier, you were dealing with someone who was maybe trying to, because we have the four of pentacles here. You protecting yourself. You being kind of miserly or closed off. We have the lovers and the um, seven of pentacles reversed. So for some of you, this is somebody who has more than one person. You were dealing with someone who had more than one person and they weren't going to choose. They were going to keep you waiting. Like this person may have known that, you know, you wanted to be with them and they were just going to keep you waiting. Is what I'm getting. So for some of you, you might have been dealing with someone who just wouldn't open up. They didn't want a connection. They didn't want a serious um, relationship. And um, they weren't being honest with you. So you decided to just move on. In reference to the job situation here, um, some of you realize that, um, you know, you got word back in reference to applying for a new position and you didn't get accepted for the position. Um, for some of you, you did get accepted for the position, but it's not as much money. You know, it's less money than what you're making now, which is a disappointment. You know, you didn't even see that coming. OK, you, you, for whatever reason, you didn't see that coming. Um, <clears throat> so that defeats the purpose. Um, and for some of you, you're just making a choice in reference to, um, you know, what you want to do and how you want to move. Because some of you, like I said, you're considering moving, but, you, you know, that's just one of your options. So let's get some um, let's get some advice for you guys and see what's going on. There's so many different messages. Where are we at with the time? Okay, we're good. So let's see what we got for Cancer. Cancer. Cancerian Massive. Okay, I got Happy Family, but I got this in reverse. So I'm going to tell you what the reversed version of this is. This is the energy oracle um, and the number four here. So the number four is the emperor. Okay, but we know the emperor, um, number four is the emperor for the major arcana. But since this card is in reverse, we're going to look at that. If this correlates, we're going to look at the emperor in reverse as well. So this could be um, not having control of a situation. Happy family in reverse. Okay, so let's see what this says. So, um... So it says, when the happy family card is reversed, it indicates a separation or emotional distance from family members or close friends. This disconnect may be from your family of origin, such as your parents or siblings, or it may be that something is standing between you and your present family members, whether it be your children or your spouse. There could be some hostilities that need to be worked out or perhaps some um, fences that need to be mended. Communication and patience may be called for here, so let your intuition be your guide. Remember, real healing starts when you choose to become your own loving parent, sibling, spouse, friend, or child. 
The lesson in every relationship is self-honoring. And sometimes the karma is to just let go. So this is what the universe was talking about in reference to letting go. When the universe posted this card as what you need to keep in mind. This is the five of wands. Okay. I'm sorry. The five of swords in reverse. The five of swords is saying, you know what? Okay. I don't want to fight anymore. Let's not fight anymore. Let's, let's try to resolve this a different way. Okay. So perhaps the way that you're going about trying to resolve the issue is causing more problems than you realized. <clears throat> so maybe a different approach. Okay. So maybe not the fighting. Or maybe a less aggressive approach. Or maybe just taking a time out until you come up with the best approach. Let's see what else we got. That's for some of you. Okay, that's not going to resonate with everybody. We got a squirrel spirit that popped right on out here. It says, believe in yourself. Okay, number 57. 5 and 7, um, when you add them together, you get 12. The number 12 major arcana is the... Um, the uh, hanged man okay oops the hanged man all right so let's see if this is about a different perspective yeah believing in yourself looking at things differently so 57 all right so it says you have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by all you need an abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work. Squirrel spirit shows up when you need to be reminded that the acorns you gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow. So relax into knowing there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality you want to experience. Through diligent preparation, you have gained wisdom and strength. How much potential you have. Believe in yourself. For spirit believes in you and wants you to know you have enough and you are enough. Doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure? It should. For you have everything you need right now. So this is spirit just reminding you that you have the potential and the abundance to do what it is that you need to do. Okay. So if it is moving on to finding another job, you will be able to do so. Okay. Um. So for some of you, you've been saving money, okay, with the four of pentacles, all right, and knowing that, you know, it's got a potential for growth. Yeah, because again, this, for some of you, this was about a bad business deal. Um, this could have been, there were a couple scenarios here. So this is the one in reference to this being a, a bad business deal and you being betrayed. Um, so the universe is basically saying, you know, that you, you have enough, you know, you did make some money and things maybe didn't work out, whether you got fired or you, it was a bad business deal and you had to end things due to betrayal, you know, um, but you've gained enough wisdom and strength and financial backing where you're able to, um, move forward. So this is you, you know, not being secure in what you have. And I picked this card up with the four of pentacles here. This is you maybe holding on, maybe fearing that you don't have enough. But Spirit is saying you have enough. You have the wisdom and experience. And so you're able to move forward. So not to be afraid with that. So that's for some of you. Okay. And then we're going to get message of love oracles. Because we got, for some of you, this is a love situation. So let's see what else we got for you guys. So we have acceptance. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Okay, so mm, that's very vague to me. Let's see what else we have. We'll talk about acceptance after we look at the other ones. Oh, I'm dropping cards. Bear with me, guys. All right, so here and now. So your true love is already a part of your life. So for a lot of you, the person that you're, um, this is interesting. You have to take this how it resonates in reference to the love scenario here. Some of you um, have someone new. Some of you have new suitors. You've always had suitors, but it's, there's this one particular person that you are interested in. Okay, so this acceptance part could be the fact that this person and you split up and you're just, you're not understanding why. Okay, or you don't want to accept it. Let's put it that way. 
you may know why, but you're just not accepting it. But you do, the universe is saying you need to respect the other person and accept it. Some of you may be trying to be forceful and force your way back into someone's life or, um, you know, wanting to work things out. If this person doesn't want to do that, you have to accept that and respect that. Um, the here and now is for some of you, your partner, the person you're supposed to be with is the person you're with. So like I was saying earlier, some of you just need a time out from each other. Okay, especially if you um, resonate with this card here where maybe you're the way that you're handling things, it may not be the best way as far as the fighting. Perhaps consider, you know, and when I say fighting, it could be like pettiness, you know, tit for tat type of stuff. Perhaps, you know, maybe if you're not able to, you know, if you... If you're realizing that something needs to change and you guys are still hitting a ceiling, maybe you speak with someone to help you guys out. Maybe a mediator. But for a lot of you, finances, when we have the Ace of Pentacles, financial challenges are affecting this connection. So um, for some of you, this is a work situation here and you're being overworked and underpaid or this job is not uh, able to support you um, financially, or for some of you with the, the business deal being taken advantage of by your partner, um, this definitely talks to the financial part of this piece. So, um, I hope cancer that this did resonate with you and maybe provided some type of insight or, um, you know, some, uh, maybe a different perspective that you may not have ha had, especially if it does resonate. If so, please click the like button. Please also leave a comment if you would like to elaborate more. I love to read them. Other than that, you guys, I want to thank you for checking in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video if someone you know needs it. And I will see you guys for the next weekly. Peace out, Cancer.